Hey everybody, it's me, Jake Requiem, and today I am unboxing Wizard Fafnir because it finally came in the mail yesterday. That's the point, messing up here. Now, let me readjust my iPad here. I never realized that light did that. Okay, hey everybody. Yeah, Wizard Fafnir finally came yesterday. It was just too late last night for me to make a video about it. And also, my friend Zane was the first one to know that I even got this Beyblade. Met him at the Beyblade Club thing. So, yeah, I got his phone number, and now we chat about Beyblades and stuff together. And he was the first one to know I got this. So, anyways, I'm just glad I got this Beyblade, because now I can use it and do all sorts of cool battles with it now. I'm a little sad that it wasn't Free de La Hoya in the anime that owns this bay, but still. It, at least we got a new Fafnir in this generation, which is cool. That is pretty good bay. I really love its whole idea where you set it in the stadium and it just gains spin. It's crazy. I just wonder if it'll work if it's trying to spin the opposite direction to what it does. Or if that'll just screw itself up. I don't know. But anyways, so yeah. Here on the box I have this really cool image of Geist Fafnir. And it also comes with a launcher, which is cool, a light launcher. And again, this is owned by Fumie, a new character in the Beyblade Burst Gachi anime. And basically, this bay is has a bunch of rubber on it. All that blue is rubber. It also has the heaviest layer weight, which is Sen. So you got Wizard Fafnir, Ratchet Rise, Sen. It's pretty cool. And it shows on the back here a lot of stuff. It shows we have the like gachi core thing or gachi chip, I forget what it's called. But this is our Fafnir base or Faf I forget what the inner cores are called. I'm trying to remember. Anyways, we have oh, it's we have our gachi chip which is Fafnir. Our layer weight, which is Sen, which has a bolt in every spot, unlike the others. And we have our core, which is Wizard. And do note, this core does not work with any other base that are right spinning. It only works with left spinning Beyblades, but we only have this left spinning one so far, so we can't customize it that good. But we can change up the layer weight and the tip in Metal Disc, which is cool. And I will do a little comparison of all the Fafnirs together. And yeah, basically its abilities are its Ratchet Disc can, has a free spinning spot, kind of like Hurricane does. Except it only spins one direction and the other way it locks, which helps it with spin stealing. And the Rise Driver is made so it can stand straight up so it's easier to spin steal. It's also the first Fafnir tip to not have a spring in it, which I find really cool here. And it also shows on the side little, like, thing of Ace Dragon. And on this side it shows what all is here in the set. So, yeah. I think this is pretty cool. Can't wait to open it. So, yeah. And I wonder how good that light launcher is. I am going to do some test battles, of course. I'm not so sure about stickers. But I think I can get them on if I try it. But they're a little small. Okay, they're really small, but try. Okay, now open this up. Pocket knife. I'm gonna use this so I don't tear up the box, because I really like this. Okay, here we go. Let's put that back up there. And let's open this up. Again, I don't want to tear up this box, which is why I'm trying to be very careful here. Oh, I got more tape. Okay. I'm going to leave the knife right there so I can do it. Um, also, here's your little thing you can cut out and put on your bay logger that I don't have. <laughs> um, bay logger that probably nobody has. But anyways, let's get on with this unboxing. Here we go. Okay. 
This is hard. But I can admit. I'm not sure how this isn't working. Cutting it how I should. getting off and our record comes pre-bent it's not like any of us want it to be bent to car tell me but we could have just released this as a side light launcher so it doesn't have to come all curled you know it could be its own set but nope yeah there's no salvaging this box with the way this is going great yep I broke the box. Not so much for display. Oh, and of course, the second I break it, it hurt. It breaks itself. Well, either way, it's mostly salvaged. Yeah, that'll still look good on displays. Yeah. Let's put the box up here, and I will keep that for other things. But now, oh my god, this is so big. But now we have our bay our launcher, and our very few stickers that I will put on. So they're surprisingly not as small as they look. I don't need to fight with tape now that I got my pocket knife found again. So yeah, I'll make this faster. Which is good. Because this means I can make more unboxings in a day, because there's less work having to be done. Or less time required to do the work that needs to be done. So yeah, this is pretty good, now that I have my knife back. <laughs> it's a dull edge here, so it can't cut you. really like that design. That way I can just put it back in with these. I am not going to keep doing that. Move. Okay. So, I'll work my way through everything here. We got our awesome little light launcher, though. To be honest, I think I'll just stick with the left launcher set that we get from the Chosey series, because I like that a lot. It's a cool launcher. And so here's our light launcher. L for our wizard Fafnir. Pretty nice. Crash here. Okay. Now let's get the Beyblade out and check it's everything see how it is. So I'm really excited for this. I've been waiting so long for this to arrive. Now Beyblade Club, I'm going to be able to use this Beyblade, which will be awesome. Or will be awesome. This base got some good weight to it. That's for sure. And I think the whole idea of the Rise Driver is pretty cool. It's basically the guard tip, but for Fafnir. And just like it said it does, it will stand up on its own. I know you can't see it right now, but it is. It's an odd tip, yes, but it works. For whatever reason. It just works. I don't get it either. I'm getting through the tape and junk. So yeah, it spins to the left, it'll spin left, but it, when you try and move it the- wait. Oh. It's only- I don't know how this works. It spins backwards. Oh, so when it's gaining rotation, it can get up. But when you try and spin it the other way, it gets locked. So it can only move this way, but it can't move the other way. Kind of reminds me of, like, the turn frame. This is a pretty good weight to it, I think. Good amount of grams to it. I just wonder how Tkartomi made the whole it can spin one way but not the other idea work. Okay. Like, this is weird. The way it works. 
Hmm. I don't know. That's cool. I'm just really glad they made a new Fafnir. That is going to be awesome. I'm telling you, this has way lots of rubber. And it's good rubber. Oh, look at all that rubber. Dang. This thing's just going to be a behemoth of a Beyblade. Okay, I'm going to disassemble it. Check out all of Fafnir's parts. Come on, pop out. Okay, so we first have our Fafnir inner core, which is cool. We have our Sand Disc, which is really good weight to it, I think, because it has all those bolts in it little bits on it. I don't know. And then we have Wizard, our core. Which is really cool so far. The way this whole thing is designed is awesome. So now to put it back together. See, this is going to be like the best Beyblade for Spin Steel, I think. Now putting it back together. Now let's put it together together and see how it looks. How it is. Ooh, it's even got tight clicks. All oh, the way this works is going to be great, especially if hand spun. But if you launch it, be warned that the tip may make it go a little crazy. Oh. This thing can't even fall over. Ooh, that'll be nice. spinning on my hand so yeah now let's get out our whip cord for our weird launcher I don't understand why this they this they just decided to make this launcher with it but again a new launcher is a good launcher or not a good launcher it's a new launcher at least yeah I like that the starters are pretty good cause some because this starter actually includes a good launcher when most starters just include those crappy like, like, proto launchers, and those are just trash to use. Okay, so now to put this in and see how well, it, just how well it works. Ooh, that has some rip power to it. And if I attach this to, say, the, the launcher here that I have, let's attach the grip, the grip on this to it. Not as good as I'd imagine, but it works. <laughs> Still, a new launcher is a new launcher. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it back on its original. But you cannot tell me that that color scheme does not fit right. I mean, look at these. You cannot tell me they don't look the same or similar. Okay, so now that we've got that open, I'll put on the stickers, and then we'll do some tests to see if it really does spin steel when it starts off doing nothing. <laughs> nothing. I just had to make that pun. I had to. Such an old pun, but I had to do it. It's hard to think that a long time ago, I barely knew how to put a Beyblade on the launcher. And the next thing you know, I have a couple thousand different Beyblades that I don't even remember half the combos to for the Metal Series. Yeah, most of my Beyblades are Metal Series Bays, and I don't even know all their parts. Because they are all mostly just jumbled bit bits. Sadly. But, all my Burst Beyblades, I can remember their combos with these, surprisingly. I don't know why. I just really like this Fafnir. Everything about it. I'm gonna do a little launch on the floor here just to see. When it tips. Dang, it doesn't really do that much when it tips. It just tips, but it stays up. 
Okay, this thing's design is just gonna be a bomb shell. Okay. Hmm. So when it's downward, it can only move the the one direction, and but not the other. But if you push in, it'll move both directions with these somehow. I don't know how that works, but it does. Okay, so now for the stickers. I'm gonna move my launcher. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome here. I don't know why I keep saying it. awesome. It's gonna be awesome. It just is. It is awesome. It's Fafnir. Wizard Fafnir. And I'll do some test battles against Space to see here. Right after the stickers. Wait, I don't even know where it had two of these stickers go. Let me see the box. Where in the world are all the... Okay, I see now. Great, more stickers than I thought. Not easy ones. So, yeah, this is an odd... Wait, what is... Never mind, I forgot what I was saying already. Or at least what I was about to say. Okay, now I'm just gonna focus, put this on. One sticker. Go where you belong. Try in here. Okay, the stickers are hard. And I have lost the sticker. No, I haven't. Gotta pop it out to get the sticker out again. Got stuck. There we go. Saved it. Now to just put it on how I normally would. Okay, four stickers on. This video is getting long, I better hurry. I know you won't be able to see what I'm doing right now, but I'm really trying here. Difficult. I'm not going to do the tiny silver stickers. Those are way too difficult. Heck, this is difficult. Sorry, I'm being really quiet here. Just really focused. Boom. Did it.
now to just do the sticker for the tip. And I'm not going to put on these silver ones because, dang, are they small. Actually, maybe, no, nah, I ain't going to risk it. That's too hard. <laughs> Did it now for the test battles Oops, my hair is kind of blah right now <laughs> eh. still okay Fafnir is ready now time to test and I mean a lot of tests well a lot of fun <laughs> a lot of launching so let me get everything set up here again for this to work Oh, and also, let me show you the little comparison of all the bays over time. So here are all the bays. We have our newest one, our middle one. My, this is one, one of my favorites. And the drain. We've got drain, geist, and wizard. A lot of different bays. So now, let me get our stadium. A stadium. Ugh. Red Stadium, ready. Now to get the iPad set up right. And then I'll show you these battles. I don't know how this will work, if it'll work. Okay. Too close. Let's make some room. Dang it. Trying here, everybody. Okay. Now you can see the stadium fully. Now this will work. Okay, I'm gonna try out this launcher and test launch it first. See how it works. Pretty good. I know if it's tilted, it'll go crazy, like doing a geist break or, or like an absorb break. Yeah, it kind of drifts on that part of it. Okay. So now, time to test its spin stealing abilities against Ace Dragon. I don't have a launcher here. Great. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, wait. so I got my launcher here. Got Ace Dragon. I'm gonna hand spin back here. For this first match. Ooh, it's gaining so much rotation. And with ease. This is a beast of a bay. It just beat Ace Dragon. And it's still standing, sort of. Okay, now we've seen that work. Let's see if I do non-spinning. Oh, will it work? Almost. Okay, try again. I know it can do it, it's just really hard. draw sort of that was cool so yeah it can do it just not easy okay I'm gonna try it again slash Valkyrie see if there's a difference <gasps> oh. oh so close Almost. This will work eventually, I'm sure. Okay, Fafnir. Stand up. 
Valkyrie, attack it. You're supposed to give it rotation. Not leave it idling. Not moving. I know it can work. Maybe it's because I have it standing up. Maybe I should set it downward to have it work. Okay, three, two, one, go. Let's try it this way. Come on, Valkyrie, attack it. Dang it. You're supposed to attack Fafnir. Oh! Oh! It, it won! Sort of. It started spinning. Just barely. Okay, it can work. It's just really hard. Okay, three, two, one. Shoot! Oh! 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 It's working! It's working! Oh! It burst in Valkyrie! This is a king! Gotta try that again. I gotta. It can work. It can work. Okay, do it again. Attack. Come on. Just need to do a big bunch of hits to get it. Oh! It's gaining. Oh! It outspun it at the end. Okay, this is doable. This is really cool, though. Okay, I'm gonna try Chosy Valkyrie against it, see if that helps or changes anything. Go shoot. Oh! Right against it for a second, did it. Ah, uh, just flipped it. Well, it, it did it for a sec. But it can work, everybody. Woo! Boy, the whole stadium is a in view. Okay, now it is. I know it's kind of to the side the camera's showing it, but it's the only way I can set up my camera, right? Okay, now I'm gonna try just a little hand spin for it. Now go. Valkyrie. Fafnir. Wizard spin. Ah, it fell over. Can't get back up. Well, still, I love this new bay. And it can spin steel great. Ah, uh, missed launch. And Valkyrie's idling in the corner. Nobody wanted you to do that, Valkyrie. Okay. Three, two, one, go. The speed is nice, but the power is not working. Oh, it's gaining rotation. Ah, uh, it stopped. That was cool for a sec. Okay. Let's try that again against Slash again. See if that works. Oh, knocked it into a corner. Back in the middle, Fafnir. Valkyrie, you're supposed to get it spin, not- Oh! It's working! It's working! And it worked! <laughs> well, everybody, this is working out great. Okay, now I'm going to try it against the left spinning bay and see how good it is enduring that. I'm gonna try it. Let's see against which one, though. Mm -hmm. Let's do... Iced Fafnir against Wizard Fafnir. Free versus Fumier. Let's see how it works. Wait, left mode. I'll launch Geist first. Absorb break. Geist break. Oh! It burst in Geist! All this rubber helped it. Incredible. Okay, that, hap that happened. Oh, but it was close to bursting. Or it's just when I grabbed it, it was weird. Okay, I'm gonna try this against another bay. But which one, which one? Uh, let's go with Killer Death Scyther for whatever reason. Let's see if it'll spin steel from this. 
Oh, it is. It gains spin. Oh, it did. oh it's working. Oh, and it just barely sp spawn finish. Didn't finish. Okay, so anyways, this video is half an hour long now, so thanks for watching, everybody, and bye!